Somebody say something if you can see me. Am I back? You guys, I'm, I'm back? I am here? Okay, good. Oh, okay. That, I, I could have just said, wow, rude, but I guess if you guys have ads. Oh, okay, so I don't know what happened. Uh, it basically, I got to that point where I was about to, like, click that stuff, and my monitor died. Like, I could still hear the music of the game playing in the background, but I couldn't see anything. And my, my webcam shut off, too. It was the ninja. So I'm going to try opening it back up and seeing if that will do anything. I'm, I'm scared now, though, yo. Uh, genuinely hesitant. It is some kind of, like, Nancy Dark magic. Damn. Is my computer not strong enough to handle Nanky Do? Like, that's wild. My computer is, like... Well, I guess it is, like, four years old at this point, but it's still, like, super high-end. Maybe I need to upgrade something? Weird, weird, super weird. Don't know why that happened. Continue? Where did it leave me off? <laughs> so that same thing happens to Lars? Gotta figure out which way they went. Must be a clue here. Okay, so this is better than the last time. A W key. Or his monitor turns off, but he can still hear sounds. W. Same as the desk. Is that the thing that you were telling me about, Patricia? Like you said, because you warned me to be careful. Hmm. Or something like that. Somebody did. To Boston. This canister looks to have been used as a home oh. smoke bomb. This canister looks to have been Okay, yes, thank you, Nike Do. <sighs> yes, Deirdre. What is it? You know where I am right now? Salem. Salem. Oh. Which trial, Salem? Avi. Come on, Drew. My cousin has. Well, she's got Interesting. Some here, and I thought I could help her out. No, but Nancy's in the cat, Salem. Much more complicated than I anticipated. So now I'm calling you to ask for some guidance. Advice? You want my help? Oh, yeah, don't make this more painful. I could use your. Professional opinion. Well, it so happens that the case I'm on is connected to Boston, which is just nearby Salem. And I was never a big believer in coincidences. Oh, are you sure? I'd love to. Seriously? Ah! I thought I had reached a dead end, but it looks like I have to go to Massachusetts anyway. In any case, a fresh perspective would do me good. Ugh. You're already annoying me, and you're not even here yet. Ugh, I forgot how much I hated Deirdre in the last game. Because she just wanted to, like, get with Ned. <laughs> Positivity. <laughs> I'm just glad you didn't change your mind and leave me at the airport. Might have crossed my mind. Wow. Excessive cheeriness under control. It will be fine. This looks great. Also, I just pulled a weird hair out of my like shirt. Austria. Did I interrupt a vacation with Ned? Didn't you bring me here to help with a case? 
Yes, I did. Oh, the lip syncing is pretty terrible. A fire? Was anyone hurt? Holy. In the middle of the night. No one was there. Holy shit. What is it with, like, fucking fires? But the person who lived there had to move out. Just so we're clear, this is my case. Yeah, this is the second time we've been in a fire with Deirdre. Everything. But this is personal. It's family. Well, extended. And from my father's side. But whatever. Whatever. That's not the point. It's personal. You take my lead, okay? What the hell is this? Of course. But? Well... I have done this a couple of times, Deirdre, and in my experience, we can cover twice as much ground if we work side by side. I, you know, respect your experience or whatever, but family trumps experience. Can we not use that word anymore in 2020? By being too... Too what? Too you. You're a question machine. This requires gentle handling. Delicate. This is like I they look the character models look great, but that lip syncing is I need help. Not great. So can I ask some questions? Like anyone could stop you. Eh. Why don't we start with your extended family? Why don't we start with your extended family? They're cousins. The Perrys. P A R R Y. Oh, like in fencing. Yes. Tegan is the older one, May is younger, they've, they had a difficult childhood, okay? And now May is suspected of committing arson on the most important historic mansion in Salem. And I know it's not true. I know it. What well, can you tell me about May? You tell me about May. She has a reputation as a trouble. Well, all I know about May is that she's the one with the ice power, so clearly she didn't do the arson. Sometimes she can even sense things before they happen. Odd how? I don't know. Troubled teen stuff, difficult time as a kid. Oddest thing is, she won't give an alibi. That would be seen as suspicious. That's the problem. No, I think you're right. It's so not suspicious, bad, but they're... Prejudiced. Re yes. because of cycling they're like the same ones over and over again sounds like we should talk to her soon where do you think we're going what does tegan think about what this does tegan think about this she's worried about may obviously tegan isn't like may she's upstanding she works at the salem museum and doesn't know hmm. anything about criminal cases which is why she contacted me one more question one more question. What can you tell me about this historic mansion? It's called the Hathorn House. And it's old. Like, really old. Hathorn, like the person in the letter? Nothing else significant about it? Well, uh, yeah. Listen, I just made a connection! But one that... Uh, that's kind of why you're here. Which is why the Hathorn House is haunted. Yes! More ghosts! Oh, come on. Oh, I see what you mean about janky animations. Those trees. Exactly that. There's ghosts. Deirdre. I don't believe it either, Drew. But I can't explain it. Everyone seems to think they exist. With so many sightings, even if it isn't real ghosts, something is definitely going on. I thought that maybe you can disprove them. So, would you please get out of my car and come inside? I like that one leaf just kind of like floating in the middle of the road. That was good. If we're going to work side by side, you'd better learn to keep up with me. You must be Nancy. Thank you so much for coming. You know, you live in the same neighborhood for 20 years, and you'd expect your neighbors to be a little more understanding when your family is falsely accused of a horrific crime. Oh, I'm sorry. How are you, Deirdre? I'm good, thanks. Ugh. Welcome to my house. Well, 
our home, although right now my parents are literally on safari in Namibia, so... While their daughter is being convicted of a crime she didn't commit, I'm taking care of things around here. They'll be Tough childhood them. parents are in Namibia. A very expensive courier is tracking them down in the bush. Top notch, I found him on the internet. Deirdre tells me you'll be assisting her in clearing my sister's name. Assisting? Yeah. She's innocent. I don't know why she won't help herself. She's got a difficult reputation. Well, you know, Deirdre, what people here can be like. She doesn't trust easily, not since. I'm sorry, are you hungry? Not or since. A little taste of New England. I made up the guest bedroom for you, Nancy. Deirdre, sorry, you're bunking with me. Make yourselves at home. Oh, I almost forgot. After you girls get comfortable, you two should swing by the museum. Might as well take in some history while you're here, right? <laughs> Just don't get suckered into that witch's walking tour. Olivia Ravencroft is not a witch. She would have you believing all kinds of nonsense about the town being full of ghosts. I thought you two used to be friends. That was a long time mm. ago. Look, I'm sorry, I gotta get going. Running late to an appointment. Thanks, Tegan. I appreciate you letting us stay. Before you go, do you have time for a quick question? Nancy, we just got here. Sorry, I know you're in a rush. It would Ooh, these animations are... If it'll help. Twitchy. What can you tell me about where the fire happened? What can you tell me about where the fire happened? What have you heard about it? Look, I appreciate you want help, but I don't want you dragging all that up and upsetting May. You told me she would be able to reach her. That's not the... That's not what Nancy is asking about. I'm sorry if I wasn't clear. I just thought since the Hathorn House is important to the town, you must know about it. Through the museum. Oh, I'm so sorry. The Hathorn House fire. Yes. John Hathorne was one of Salem's founders. So, what other fire are they talking about? Does she have a history of setting shit on fire? Uh-uh, that was two questions. I said one. <laughs> but, yes, he was also the big-time judge that presided over the Salem witch trials. Is there some other fire I need to know about? No. May's accident was in a fire. I just don't want her getting upset with unnecessary questions about things long over. I understand. You can read all about Judge Hathorne when you come to the museum later. Gotta run. Hmm. Well, I guess it's time to get some soup. You jerk. Tegan said you've been in town for days, but you haven't come by. I know, I know, I know. I had to check in with your case at the, uh... Look, I didn't want to bother you. How are you holding up? Uh, I've been accused of worse. No, you haven't. <laughs> hey, at least I got you to get off your butt and finally visit me. Um, oh, this is the girl I was telling you about. Nancy Drew. Nice to meet you. Oh, she really doesn't want to talk. This could be difficult. Any advice? Hmm. Do better? I'll be in the kitchen. <laughs> Thanks, bitch. Talk to Tegan in the museum. Talk to Judge Danforth. Ah, okay. Hey, we got some text messages we can look up. Love you, emo hearts. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I can take pictures. The kitchen table has a great view out into the neighborhood. Are you ready to leave yet? We don't have all day. All right, what were you actually doing before you picked me up from the airport? You picked me up from the airport. What do you mean? 
You gave May a non-answer when she asked why it took you so long to stop by here. A non-answer? Yeah, because I went to the police station. And? And they're still going through the evidence. Hmm. And when they found out I was May's cousin, they started... laughing. So they think she did it. Everyone does. So, I went to check out the Hathorn house myself. But I never went inside. The ghost? What? No. Yes. There was some weirdo there who told me the ghost was going to steal my soul. It was totally creepy. And then I found out that everyone in this town believes in ghosts, so I didn't enter. Well, whatever or whoever it is, mm. there's an explanation behind it. Did the police give you anything? Anything at all? They told me there's a Judge Danforth in town, and he's going over the particulars of the Hathorn House estate. I found his office, but he kind of never let me enter his office. Believe me, I tried. <laughs> I know him. Not well, but enough to get through his door and have a conversation. All right. Are we going into town or what? Sure. Who could gain something by burning down a house? Insurance this is basically the plot of the last game that we played. Opportunity. We need to start interviewing. See if anyone checks off those three boxes. And in your experience? It's usually something much more personal. This tour this sounds tour interesting. Sounds interesting. Don't tell Tegan that's your plan. It'll give us a good overview of the town. You mean I want to meet the real witch of Salem? Yeah, I do. She might know something. I wonder why Tegan doesn't like her. You don't have to investigate everything, Drew. Olivia steals Tegan's <laughs> Oh my god, that'd be amazing. I'll have to check that. You don't have to come with me. Side by side. <laughs> Gotta be honest, it does sound more fun than the museum. Okay. Let's I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna test that. Hi. You've reached the phone of private investigator Deirdre Shannon. I'm working on an important case and can't Oh my god, now. stop. That's if funny. You information you'd like to share. Please leave a message after the beep. Professionals. Deirdre is taking this very seriously. That's fucking funny. Okay. Where is the huh. soup? Huh. What what do you mean, huh? I'm clicking everything. Clearly, she doesn't want to talk to us, so. Oh, it's Nade. Ned. Hi. Ned. Ned, how have you been? Thanks for finally picking up. Uh, sorry. I've been on a flight. Busy on another case, huh? You know, you should really enjoy yourself more, Ned. Life's too short to be working all the time. Okay, Ned. How many times have I ever fre like rescued him? Crime doesn't take a vacation. Crime doesn't take a vacation. Is yours. <laughs> Ned, come on. Yeah, one second. Sounds like you are having fun. Uh, you know, standard fare. Nothing too crazy. I miss you, Nance. I miss you. Hey, give it back. Two. Nancy, I'll call you later. Call you later, Nancy. Well, that was. Huh. <laughs> <coughs> All right, so I can't really. Do anything. Oh God, Deirdre, why are you right there? I think we should head right for the judge. What do you think? Maybe check out the witch tour. Maybe check out the witch tour. Something might pop out at us. Ugh, are you serious? I think witches are kind of cool, and you never know what you'll learn. Come on. What is with you? Hey, what's that? A leopard. Print lighter. Why here? Better hang on to this. I think we should head right. Uh! Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, I guess we need to go to the car. I don't know where it's taking us. Oh. 
Yeah, Deirdre is kind of annoying. Visitors, by now you know the story of the witches of Salem. Those poor souls were caught in a time of fear and greed, and they paid the price. They may have died, but witchcraft lives on in Salem. Oh, this should be interesting. The world would have you believe witches were not real. I'm oh. not talking about old, ugly women who curse their neighbors and cry um, on Nothing wrong with that, but you know. Is she a street magician? Have always been real. They are alive and well. They are powerful, carrying the secrets of the world beyond this is, I, I'm trying to figure out if I like the new gameplay style. I'm not super sold on it yet. A coven of witches settled in recent years, set on revenge for the deaths of the Salem witches. Their oh, ritual, geez. one midnight on Halloween, unleashed the angry spirits of the past. So cool. <laughs> ah. Now, if any of you are interested in the real history of the witches of Salem, I provide self-guided tours through some of my favorite locations in town. And perhaps you too will see one of the restless dead. Thief in Austria used the same kind of stage magic she's using. Thief? There was a thief? What were you doing there? Visiting a spooky old castle. Huh. You'd have liked it. Do you regularly fly to Europe for investigations? Sometimes. And if you want to learn about being a witch, Come forward. Interesting, these like weird candles everywhere. Huh. See, like, I keep saying, I wonder if I could take the lighter to it. Nope. All right. Well, here comes trouble. Me? Ever. Well, nothing too bad, I hope. Did you know that in the Malleus Maleficarum, Ginger hair was the sign of a witch. You're my kind of people. <laughs> I'm not nearly as talented as you are. Aw, shucks. You're making me blush. Oh, there it is. Now I'm turning red. You truly are a witch. <laughs> so to become a witch, do I need to take a test or get a diploma? <laughs> a true witch is not made with pieces of paper. Mm. She is born to it and will feel the call. <laughs> Bureaucracy is for persecution. We don't need permission. We don't live by... <laughs> Bureaucracy is for persecutors. I dig that. What can I help you with? Uh... Oh, you <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, how often do you do this show? Do you do this show? Most nights. It gets busier around Halloween. And I'm sure you can figure out why. How about the night that the Hathorn house was burned? <clears throat> you look a little young to be working for the police here. Oh no, it's nothing like that. We're just curious tourists. Good, because I've already spoken with them. And so, you were here. I was out of town. Did you girls know that Salem is haunted? There's a ghost here. No, this is, uh, are... Bess isn't here. How'd you perform that trick? A witch never reveals her secrets. It's against the witch code. A code? I thought bureaucracy. No, it's her name's Olivia. She's not related to those guys. I promise you will learn at least one secret about being a witch. Oh no, I'm with fucking Deirdre right now. Fucking Deirdre. There was some history between you two. That was a long time back. 
We don't talk much now. And May? Yes, I know her too. Not spoken to her for a long time either. Hmm. I've heard the rumors about her. May is a troubled girl. And sometimes such girls get blamed for things that were not their I don't think she burned down the Hathorn house if that's what you're trying to get at. People with mundane minds look for mundane explanations. <laughs> you really believe some modern, modern witch coven unleashed on Salem? About eight years back, there were rumors of a coven that they performed a ritual to return the dead witches to Salem to seek out their revenge before the witches moved on. Is there any evidence of such a coven? Ever since then, ghost sightings have gone through the roof. Salem is now considered the most hmm. haunted place in the country. Interesting. You think it's a coincidence? Is it a different Nancy the voice? The Hathorns was set on fire. How else could the fire have started? How else could the fire have started? I heard there was not a single living soul in the house when it started burning. Keyword. Living. The world is composed of two equal mm. Oh, Karen, you missed my computer crashing because of this game. We see every day. It's this is literally the first game to ever crash my computer. It's our world. You can even see it at night. On my tour. It's the unknown. A plane of existence that vibrates just underneath the light. But if you were in a place like Salem, a place where a painful history permeates every surface, every crack, every brick, and every tube. Every tube? Oh. If I said every tube. When you least expect it. That's why they say, don't be out past midnight in Salem. Who says that? Dark may reach out and take you. Also, did you know that Salem has more ghost sightings than any other city in North America? If ah. Why? You should go on my tour. I would like to go on the tour, but talk to you later. Okay. <laughs> Savannah claims out. <laughs> Cops. The museum is over there, across the square. That's where we can get the real witches tour tickets. The judge's office is in that building. If we want to go see him first, dive into the case. I think we should head right for the judge. I kind of want to do the tour. Oh my god, they're so twitchy. Maybe check out the witch tour? Something might pop out at us. Ugh, are you serious? I think witches are kind of cool. And you never know what you'll learn. Come on. What is with you? Darn. Missed the opening hours. Deirdre's the worst. Oh, go away, Deirdre. I am so mad that I have to be here with fucking Deirdre and not fucking like Bess or George. What does that sign say? Leave me, Deirdre! that that looks important you know the one book sticking out on the bookshelf over there why can't I go get that hey sorry about the mess we're in the middle of installing a big showcase so what have you seen in town so far we decided to do the real witches tour oh you talk to Olivia what's with her get up which street <coughs> magician maybe Everyone has to make a living. Is she telling the story about a coven living here in the recent past? Yeah. Why? Just bad taste. <coughs> Olivia is quite the local character. I hope you don't mind if we do the tour. I want to see more of the town. And finding out a place's old superstitions is kind of a habit I've gotten into. 
I'm excited to look around the museum. Of course. Found tour ticket. Okay. Damn, it's expensive as hell to get in here. Also, isn't that the logo for the Metropolitan Museum of Modern Art? No. Hey, Nancy, did you give me your number? Sorry about before, I was stressed. Don't worry about it, thanks for getting in contact. Where can I find- oh! <laughs> it's just an M? Oh, whoops. Should have paid attention to that! Give me this book! The figure of a Puritan woman accused of being a witch. These were ordinary people, just like anyone else. The figure of a Puritan woman accused of being a witch. I want that book. I want the book. Why won't I guess I can't have the book. You cannot get you flask. Let's go. Closed off. Looks like they're preparing a new installation. So what can I even see here? Ah, oh, here we go. Give me book. Show text. Roger Cullinan founded Salem in 1626 as a colonial town, which he first called Naumkeeg for the settlement's location at the mouth of the Naumkeeg River. The settlers wanted to call it Salem, inspired by the Hebrew word for peace. Despite the peaceful beginnings as a settlement of immigrants, Salem is best remembered for the witch trials of the 17th century, the deadliest witch hunt in American history. England had their own witch trials also in the 17th century and had passed a witchcraft act, making it the law to put anyone who practiced witchcraft to be put to death. The settlers knew about the dangers of witchcraft through their own histories, but history still repeated itself. From 1692 until 1693, over 200 were accused. The court of Oyer and Terminer was established by Governor William Phipps to interrogate those accused of the work of the devil, witchcraft. Phipps and his active deputy governor, Thomas Danforth, both men of position and wealth, appointed judges to preside over the trials. One of the harshest judges on the accused was the rich and powerful magistrate judge John Hathorne. Hathorne's examinations and interrogations relied on spectral evidence that has been noted in the history that he often judged with an assumption of guilt. Many believe the accusers often gained in wealth and land rights from their accusations and sentencing that was solely based on spectral evidence. After the dark period of the trials, were, laws were changed and Salem's shipping and merchant economy grew. The settlement became a place of assembly for officials during the War of Independence. Many luminaries hailed from form Salem, during, including noted author Nathaniel Hawthorne, born in 1804. children are named in the list of those accused witches like Abigail Johnson just 11 mm-hmm Oh, the Salem witch trials were a tragic time where those accused of witchcraft were not only adults, the hysteria and accusations impl implicated even the youngest in Salem, the children. Many children were accused, tried, and put into prison. In 1692, Abigail Johnson, at the age of 11, was one such child accused of witchcraft. Her mother, Elizabeth Johnson Sr., was also accused of witchcraft in the trials. Abigail had lost her father just two years before the Salem trials, and she was being raised by her mother and grandfather. The trials were known for accusing many of widows and people who had been in trouble for any number of reasons, especially those who may have had relatives who were outspoken against the trials or came from a position of wealth. Such was the case for young Abigail. History notes that her grandfather was an early critic of the witch trials and was known to be outspoken against the injustices of the trials proceedings. Abigail and numerous members of Abigail's family were accused of witchcraft. The examinations were known to take into account members of the families for those many of those accused. For Abigail, this include her mother, sister, and one of the more famous persons accused in the trials, her Aunt Abigail Faulkner. Aunt Abigail Faulkner was arrested around the same time as young Abigail and accused of afflicting others resulting in her confession. For Abigail Johnson, this time in her life was a long series of examinations, accusations, trials, and depositions. Her aunt was arrested on August 11th of 1692. Her testimonies resulted in an arrest warrant being issued for young Abigail Johnson on August 29th, even though she was only 11. Abigail's widowed mother was also arrested. The Johnsons were arrested and examined on September 16th. Shortly thereafter, Abigail's brother was arrested. Other family members, including her cousins, were examined and recorded as being among the young children who were accused wishes of Salem.
The trials appear to have embroiled suspicion and accusations where neither family nor child were spared from implication, questioning, and arrest. For Abigail Johnson, while both she and her family were arrested, none were among those who were executed. Still, the accused were the who were imprisoned suffered from poor conditions and the loss of friends and family. After the trials, many of the accused were known to have petitioned the courts for payment in their losses and asked for the courts to clear their family names. The family of Abigail Johnson, who were accused of witchcraft, included her brother, Stephen Johnson, and her older sister, Elizabeth Johnson. The fear of dark, evil spirits possessing the people of Salem, both the old and young, caused a hysteria resulting in 20 people executed and over 200 accused of witchcraft. Sadly, the hysteria started with accusations that actually originated from young children when Elizabeth Paris, age 9, Abigail Williams, age 11, claimed to be possessed by the devil and blamed local witches for their actions. Ironically, these first accusers were children. Their accusations became the spark that led to young children, even younger than Abigail Johnson, to be added to the growing list of accused. When the children who were accused of witchcraft were arrested like Abigail Johnson, they endured pain while kept in what locals called the witch jails. The children accused and arrested had cold and dark walls in the prison with rats and little food. Dorothy Dorcas Good was the youngest child in the trial. She was accused when she was only four. She was the youngest among the accused and had to spend eight months in a prison dungeon. The trials ended for little Dorothy, but her mother, Sarah Good, was later executed. The little children accused of witchcraft in the Salem witch trials suffered and are always to be remembered as we honor the accused. Wow. I actually did not know that. Everything you could ever want to know about Salem history, from the Namkiag people to the Great Salem Fire of 1914. Shannon, I don't really think you missed too terribly much. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What am I let's seeing? off about that bookcase hmm. there is look. yeah that's fine I'm actually probably not gonna be live for too terribly much longer because uh, I also have work in the morning hmm hey Patricia you want to check that guide for me Something off about that. Select shape. Done. This looks great. Now to find a nice place to put it. I can. Find pumpkins? How's the investigating going? Any progress with May? I've got some leads. I haven't had much progress with May, though. I was wondering if I could ask you a couple of questions, if you have time. Sure thing. How can I help? Uh, what's this new showcase what's about? This new showcase about? Yes. This new showcase is going to be really cool. Just in time for Halloween, you know? But what is it about? If you come back on Halloween, I'll show you. So what's, what's the deal with the pumpkins? With pumpkins? Oh, yeah. I've prepared some pumpkins that visitors can carve and bring with them to place around Salem. Feel free to give it a try if you want. It's really fun and completely free. Talk, Talk to you later. later. All right, well, obviously I need to get back there somehow, but I don't know how that's going to happen. The carefully researched genealogy of several accused witches. Their names weren't fully cleared until 2001. Just look at the wall plaque that I just looked at and then leave. Doesn't seem to be important to do much here. Okay. Go to the sinkhole? Where's the sinkhole? Hmm. 
be hanging over Ceylon. The construction that site. The town, like, I don't... Ooh, should we take the witch tour? Oh, this sinkhole. The road has completely collapsed into the sinkhole. No wonder they closed it off. The ground is still crumbling. Deirdre, go away! The road has completely collapsed into the sinkhole. No wonder they closed it off. All right, so it looks like the only things we can do right now are go talk to- go on the witch tour or go talk to the judge. Cemetery? Do I go on the witch tour? Uh oh, here comes trouble. Talk to you later. Okay, I can't talk to her now. Oh, why? What? Are, what can I do? No, I want to go back to town. The fuck you say? Oh, the cemetery is right here. It'll be more useful to explore the graveyard with a tour guide. It'll be more useful to explore the graveyard with a tour guide. Right, so how do I do that? It'll be more useful to explore the graveyard with a tour guide. Let's visit the cemetery. I want a picture of Little Liberty. Give the tickets in your inventory to Olivia. She will hand out a tablet to you and Jojo explains her official every time you find a landmark that's mentioned on the list in the tablet, you have to select the tablet here. So wait, how do I give her do I give her the ticket just over here? This tour sounds interesting. Welcome on my tour. Thank you. Okay. Found tablet. Visit which tour spots. This is very complex. Okay. Access the list in the tablet. Oh. Through these woods lies the infamous Hathorn Estate. It was common during okay. the Salem Witch Trial that the lands of the accused were taken and resold for cheap. Oh. Is one of those in the museum again, too? Oh. Hmm. 
And I think by the sinkhole. Can't use that here. Are you sure? I think you're just looking for Hawthorne's grave. Doratty Cromwell. Nope. It's funny because I totally did a... Oh. I did like several like guided cemetery tours when we were in Boston over the fall. Ah, hang on, I saw ya. Stand before the remains of Salem's most zealous and conniving judge. So lacking in morals was Judge Hathorne that he sentenced innocence to death, death? for claiming the estates of the dead as his own. Ooh. Unlike the more remorseful Judge Sewell, Hathorne never felt any guilt for his part in the Salem witch trials. Bleh. Okay. Let's see what else we can see. Here's one we could look at. This one's got a symbol on it. I guess we gotta get closer. Before you stands Abigail Hathorne, helping the accused. Hello, hello. The grasp of her own brother, Judge Hathorne himself. Oh shit. Whoa. Okay. So that would make sense as to why the other judge was writing to her. Oh, you know what? I bet you I can put the pumpkins there. Oh! Doing alright tonight. Hope you're well. Very perplexed by this game, I must admit. There's a lot of, like, weird interaction in it. Oh, hang on. These headstones bear names lost to history. history. Ooh. But some believe they belong to those sentenced for witchcraft. Hmm. A condemned witch was forbidden from being buried on consecrated ground. But many victims were buried by loved ones. Nice, nice. We're just getting started on this game, so it's like very interesting. The um the one thing about the Nancy Drew games that I find a little like challenging at times is that it does is because they're fully voice acted, it doesn't really give me much time to like talk over them. It's kinda weird. I do love them though. Like they good, they fun. Samuel Paris? Okay, we can't look at that one. Is that everything in here? I mean, there's our pumpkin now. I guess that's what the pumpkins are for. We can put them on the, uh... I feel like that's gotta be everything in here. Alright. Wait, did I look at this one yet? Yes, I did. Okay. All right, let's see what's out. Oh my gosh, just let me leave. It's not letting me leave. This is not fun. Oh my gosh. This is aggra this is actually aggravating that I can't like click the way I need to click. 
There's a third thing? Oh, I wasn't quite sure what you were referencing because I haven't been able to check out Dan's streams in a while. <sighs> Judge Hawthorne's grave, check. Unknown graves, check. Okay, Hawthorne House, check. Yeah, so I've done all three of those. Let's try to find the little Liberty statue. If you look closer, the statue. Ah. Oh. oh, actually. That's what I didn't get to do. Oh. Why can't you just let me follow the path? Terrible. Bring light into the darkness. Hmm. A W. This is the same this marking the same as in marking Lucian Castle. Sam Castle. What a strange coincidence. Is it really? Is it really? Can't use that here. Are you sure? Can't use that here. Okay. Oh, whoop, I apologize. I had no idea. Uh, okay. Let's go back. I think that's it. Huh? What do you mean, huh? I have to go boop with my tablet more? Okay, so maybe I can get out now. There we go, okay. Let's see what it, you said I could boop stuff in the in the uh, museum itself, right? Some of you says you're starting to push me this followed by the wish trial memorial. Oh, okay. I do remember seeing there it is, yeah. Okay. The Salem Museum, known formerly as the town. There's the little raven the sign. Yeah. Salem witch trials. It also holds records of other interesting facets of our local history. Anyone visiting Salem does well to seek out the forbidden knowledge hidden in these halls. Forbidden knowledge. Okay, yeah, there's one on here too. But I gotta get over there. I'm hanging in there. I'm hanging in there. I've uh, had a very busy day at work. And then my husband made dinner and it was good. Of several accused witches. So that's basically been my evening. Until there. Okay, good. Tablet. Check. When the who the earth were then go boop the sinkhole. I think that catches you up. Excellent. Good. Of everything. These are the ghosts you'll find here in are you Spain. sure? Their homes taken. You sure about that, Olivia? Lives yeah, okay. Now we go to the sinkhole. Oh, uh, what did we have? We had, it was like Italian chicken with couscous. And, oh, I see it's over there. There's a sign. Uh, and zucchini. Very tasty. There was once a vast network of tunnels beneath Salem, used by smugglers during the Prohibition era. Really? Most would have you believe that these tunnels are now collapsing. Oh, is it? Oh, no. But there could be something more sinister behind these sudden laws. We did have trouble with it before, so... Okay, so that appears to be it. So now we can go talk to the judge. Talk to Deirdre about the tour. Now that I've toured this town, I can see why everyone would want to protest. The whole place seems kind of morbid, right? <laughs> anyway, can we see the judge now? Okay, yeah, we did have some trouble before. I guess the uh, the game we were playing, kind of, the game crashed my computer. That so that was fun. Really chanting up a storm. What has been so angry?
Go to Olivia and ask her about Little Liberty. That's a good emote. I actually really like that one. To portray Abigail Hathorn, helping the accused witches escape the trials. Some even believe that Abigail's ghost I'm not sure. I surrounding the house. I kind of want to go to Salem cuz it's genuinely not far. But It's got Halloween town vibes. Okay. And go back to the museum, inspect the victims of the Salem Witch Trial. The navigation in this game sucks. I do not like it. The carefully researched genealogy of several oh. witches. Yeah, I don't have my uh, tablet anymore. I think that was the last thing. So now I can Vominos. Now I guess we get to go to uh What? Whomst? Bah Twitch telling me that I re-upped somebody's subscription. Talk to Tegan? Ooh Okay, we gotta talk to Tegan now. Secret secret I got a secret. How's the investigating going? Any progress with May? <sighs> Do you think your claim on Hathorn House and the arson are related? I sure think so. And why is that? Mm. Because they're accusing May? Bingo. They're going after my family because they can't get to me. Someone thinks they can intimidate me. Well, they have no idea how stubborn a Perry can be. Hmm. No, they super don't. Do you have more information about the Salem witch trials? About the Salem witch trials. Did the exhibitions manage to spark your interest? They did. I found this display showing the ancestry of the accused, but it didn't seem fully complete. Does it look to anybody else like, like her, she's just like, like her eyes are really like super wide? Would it be okay for me to go up there? I'd really like getting a better picture of the history of Salem. Like she's just like super indignant. allow people up on the second floor. It's restricted. But. Secret. I can make an exception. You are here to help after all. So if you think it would benefit you, feel free to go up there. Oh, I definitely think it would benefit me. I'll open the door for you. <laughs> she is like eyes emoji. The stairs are hidden behind a bookcase. Ah, that's what that is. Okay. What? How's the investigating going? Any progress with May? Yep, I believe she is intended to be a uh, an Asian character. Do I want to make another one? Ooh, I can make another pumpkin. That one. Let's do this one. Nosy. That one. I'll make her another round friend the next time. Ooh! Done. This looks great. Now to find a nice place to put it. <laughs> Found pumpkin. Right, but I want to go to the book, book. I want there. I want there. How does one get there? Oh, you know what I could do? Yes. Yay! Okay, so that's what I need. Now I can make another pumpkin. This is clearly like d detouring. This guy. All right. Let's see the f the teeth. That's a good one. See sleepy. Done. This looks great. Now. 
close the Alright, so we can't get there. Now that I've toured this town, I Yes, thank you, Deirdre. No, we can't. We have a bookshelf to get to. Somehow. <sighs> Sorry, I oh, I think that makes two of us. Hmm. Ah, okay, there we go. I'm not touching anything right now. It just says go upstairs. Well, we made it upstairs. Ooh, nice, gross sofa. Whoa, original? These books must be hundreds of years Whoa. old. Oh. No wonder they're restricted. I hope their information is still open to the public, at least. Hmm. Okay, can't do anything there. Not you, bitch. <laughs> Whoa, originals? Hmm. Have to read a bunch of- well, it looks like there's a bunch of stuff here. Salem and the Prohibition. Ah! The AW sign is suspected to be created by the bootleggers during the Prohibition. Criminals use the sign of the AW thinking it stood for another way. Cleverly thinking those opposing strong drinks would believe the AW signs to be proclaiming and meaning to choose another way or lifestyle to choose a turn from the use of spirits. While some believe that to be a good message uh, to turn users another way of life, it was really only a cover. The smugglers and gangsters, the AW sign was code for another way out. The AWs were carved in trees and were hidden markings used as a sign that marked the path that led the way to the hidden tunnels underground so they could smuggle their goods out. Directional signs according to tales led to secret underground passages to smuggle the illegal goods to gangsters and gain wealth off the illegal beverage. The bootleggers old inscription AW marked the way to underground tunnels that helped transport beverages and goods under the nose of the law. Ah, huh, okay, so that's like... Someone's a busy bee. Court protocols, ancestry records. Taken is really digging deep. I bet you that the statue leads to a tunnel. The real evil is in the accusers rather than in those accused. The shame of being associated with the killings of the innocent in Salem Witch Trials has a devastating impact on those associated with the accusers of the innocent who had blood on their hands. For the sentence, the shame was often too great to endure. Many moved from the air to start new lives, others changed their names. Even though the Hawthorne Hawthorne was such a descendant. Oh! Oh! Sorry, this is like way too much to read. No, I never read the Scarlet Letter, but that makes sense. Spelling of his name was changed to Hawthorne in part to remove himself from the connection with his ancestors' shameful past. At one point, Nathaniel Hawthorne felt he was under a curse. He often wrote about Salem and the shame and sadness he felt. In his book, The Scarlet Letter, he wrote of John Hawthorne, so conspicuous in the martyrdom of the witches that their blood may fairly be said to have left a stain upon him. Reverend Samuel Paris did not apologize, however, he did state in 1694 that I may have been mistaken. He was kicked out of the village, but his family remained. It was rumored in later years of there being an ancestor that altered their name to Parry. Always look on the back, you never know. Yep. And Parry is the name of the, uh, the people that we're staying with. A.W. notes, are you just, the Salem Wish Child descendants have spread all over the globe with 20 victims executed, over 200 accused, and over 150 have been arrested. Having been arrested, the accused and convicted now have a growing number of descendants and relatives. Yep, Tegan and May are parry. The descendants and relatives have an interest in discovering their past and honoring the victims. Do you have family ties to those accused? Here in the History Museum of Salem, we keep genealogy lists in memory of the accused. Be sure to join the museum's family tree and support the events and lectures that educate and honor the victims and their relatives and descendants. Samuel Wardwell, uh, mailborn May 16, 1643, accused of witchcraft executed by hanging, born to Samuel Ward, uh, accused by 14 year old William Baker Jr. Motive was greed and gain a possible move for Samuel Wardwell being claimed guilty of witchcraft. Sarah, his wife, had a large estate which she would lose if her husband was convicted of witchcraft. The province of Massachusetts Bay law stated that those accused of witchcraft and dealing with the devil would incur a loss of inheritance and property rights. The victims and relatives were not protected of their rights. The descendants of the accused witches in Salem fight for their rights. In 1712, Samuel Warburg Jr. sued the colony. Sarah Good. Now, we, she was one of those... 
special evidence was known to be false. Aragon's daughter of age four, Dorcas Good, was charged with witchcraft and was examined by Judge Hawthorne. A.W. Reaper Brand is a Reaper Brand. No, five cents. Man, I wish! Motor neighbors did not like her scornful nature and requests for charity. She was a poor woman. Tintiba called her a witch first and then Paris girls, all creating stories to have her tried for witchcraft. Hmm. Yeah, the name Tetiba also sounds familiar to me too. We read now that I've toured this something. Town, I, can I don't remember what. Crucible, that's it. Okay. More books downstairs that I can read now? I mean, I read some of them already. Yeah, I read those too. How's the investigating going? Any progress with me? Okay, so I think we've hit a dead end here. <laughs> okay, I read the blood on the accursed accused in the Salem of Yesterday books that are hidden in the shelves down there. You can also inspect the witchcraft in the village book at Tegan's counter. Ah. There we go. Okay, we haven't seen this one yet. By William Craft, 1693. Court of Oyer and Turner, May 77. Judge John Hawthorne and Judge Samuel Sewell presiding for examinations. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Why is it giving me the option to rotate it? spots throughout Salem where you can place a pumpkin. Each spot can be identified by the orange plate with a candle on top of it. So I've placed two so far. I know that there's one back at the house, too. I'm gonna try to do the pumpkins, because I like pumpkins. Okay, I think... I think I am probably going to call it a night here. Um, before we go talk to the judge. Because I'm sleepy. Uh, and I did not have not been getting enough sleep the past couple days. So I'm going to save here. Can you like yeah, you can write yourself a note of what you have to do next? Yes, I can. And I will. I'm gonna take my notebook here. It's not really a notebook, it's just like a little pad. Um, but I will write down that we left off just about to talk to the judge. Thank you guys for hanging out tonight. I, I had, this game is a little slow sometimes and I know that I don't really get to do a lot of like talking because it's all voice, voice acted. But I do enjoy them, and as long as you guys enjoy them, I will continue to play them. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Um, I will probably be around on Thursday for stream, and that's going to be the last stream for the week. Uh, Saturday, Karen and I are going to be away at a sale. So uh, I cannot stream from there. Hang on, let me full screen. There's full screen. Um back quit to menu quit okay yeah so i will be back on thursday we'll have a good time let me see if anybody is live i think somebody is live i think luke might be live 
Uh, he was before. Yeah, okay, so Luke is doing some cool, cool music. We'll go say hey to him. Have a wonderful rest of the night, guys, and I will see you on Thursday for more Nancy Drew. Woo!